Welcome folks, this is for you to Epic here and this is the second episode of the Mods Weekly. So let's roll the intro and let's see if I can make your week an epic week. Welcome back folks, the first mod in the mod weekly is all going to be about those that love cats. Check so, real cat meat by Abba Loves You will transform dog meat into a cat, which will result into becoming cat meat. Now, since he will be transformed into a cat, he will have the size of a normal small cat size. Also, when you use this mod for the first time, hey, there could be a here. chance that cat meat Go will have the size of dog meat. Now, this is like a small bug and while teleporting or sleeping, cat meat will have the normal cat size instead of the normal dog size. So if when loading a save file and you would have cat meat in dog meat size and then like teleport or sleep and now cat meat becomes small, well that is actually the normal size of cat meat because cat meat will have the size of a normal cat. But if you want, you can go into the console and set scale to 2. Now. It will not set the scale to dog meat size, but it will become a little bit bigger than dog meat. And as you are seeing here, cat meat has almost become a tiger meat. Also, with this mod, you can have three variations. So let's have some fun and set the scale of cat meat to 100 and see what happens. Whoa! Like <laughs> a monster, man! Let's keep on going for the next mod, shall we? And the next mod is T51 Nuka Jetpack by M which will make the Nuka-Cola T-51 armor have its own unique jetpack. And the jetpack is rather epic, as you are seeing here, nice detail, and if you, re and if you also remember in my Gorilla Armor video, the Gorilla Armor was made by the same person, so the Gorilla jetpack and this jetpack were also made by the same person. And as we're seeing here, it's take off when flying with the jetpack, how it looks, the coloring, everything. It is like a jetpack really made for this armor. So in other words, if you are planning to use this Nuka-Cola T51 armor, you should really download this jetpack because it will make your gameplay experience much more epic. Now let's continue to the next mod, Glowing Children of Atom Armor by MM137. Now these are two mods which are really compatible with each other. What you need is the Far Harbor DLC since this mod is about the Far Harbor armor which is the Zealot armor or the Inquisitor armor. This will make the carvings instead of that faint yellowish color that you can't even see that much, this mod will make the carvings glow in the dark. Also, this mod Inquisitor Marine Armor Helmet Standalone by Rosso AT95 will change the Zilliot Armor Helmet and it will have a little bit more yellowish in the corners. Now, since these mods aren't done by the same person, the helmet will not glow in the dark, but still in the light of the day, it will look much more better than the usual standard helmet. The mod TNR Shoulder Lamp by Akalat85 will allow you to create this epic shoulder lamp. As you are seeing here, these are the settings that you can set. You also have six different colors to choose from. How it looks and the lighting and the shadow of the lighting, this mod is epic and I really suggest that you try it. And now as you are seeing here, this is how the shadow works. So, and this is the dynamic shadows from the shoulder lamp. So as you are seeing, from the first person, the shadows are really bad, are really buggy. So, as for first person, this isn't that immersive, this isn't that epic. But, when you are in third person view, well, the difference is rather epic, and as you are seeing here, the shadows are almost realistic. Kukri Knife by Boric123 Now, this mod is really epic. Bling Grenades by Shaf Kach Agrika. I'm sorry, but I can't spell this, so... This mod 
will first give you a quest, a miscellaneous quest, to go and get blueprints and 5 grenades. And these grenades are the bling grenades and these bling grenades, when thrown, will allow you to teleport wherever they touch. But as you are seeing here, when I'm fighting against a Deathclaw, I could have equipped any type of ranged weapon and then while teleporting with these grenades, I can have like the advantage. LEGO BC by Hikeyoshi will allow you to craft the LEGO bricks as a trap. Now let's have some fun, okay? Now here I have placed approximately about 150 LEGO traps. Now let's summon a death clock and see how much damage these traps can make, okay? So now he's coming and okay, so it looks like these traps aren't doing that much damage. Let's see, no, they are doing that much damage. So you can say that this mod is much more for fun than for actual in-game fights. Now let's try them against ghouls, okay? So against ghouls, they are also not doing that much damage. So like punching the ghouls would maybe even do more damage. But at least they are stopping the ghouls charge. So in other words, the ghouls are feeling the pain from the level bricks. And then stopping while charging and then I can have my cat beat start nobbing on them. Now, as for the final mod, Salvage Beacons by King Gut. This mod is immersive and epic at the same time. This mod will allow you to create Salvage Beacons from the camp shop in the utilities and will also allow you to create a communications station inside any settlement you want and then you can just assign a settler to it so that whenever you go out and like you don't have any more space to carry anything then you can like see a container or there would be a container just put everything in that container and put a salvage beacon in it and whenever you try to put a salvage beacon inside any type of container any type of container and not any type of bodies because on bodies this salvage beacon will not work but it will only work on containers so when you go to your inventory side and you click on the salvage beacon it will pop up another new console now in this console you will be able to choose where the items inside this container will go then after like one or two in-game hours a newly created NPC called salvager will come take all the items from the container that you have specified or selected and then this NPC called Savager will take the items to your selected settlement. So that's all folks, I really hope that you would enjoy these mods and even try them. I really hope that you would also like and subscribe and also leave a comment about maybe what you liked this episode or what kind of mod you would like to see next. And that's all folks, and as always keep it simple, keep it epic.